Hello everyone, my name is AppleGuy, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. In the previous video, we beat Bottle Grotto, the second dungeon of the game. It was a very good time, and we got the Power Bracelet, which lets us pick up rocks and things of that sort. And if you missed any of the episodes, you should watch the, uh, watch the, the LP shorts to catch up if you are in the mood for that. We're going to be doing a handful of tasks in today's video, just some minor things, beginning with going over here. We should be able to get some rupees, which we are going to need quite a few of in today's video. Uh, one of them just got sacrificed to the abyss, but that's okay. We can get a quick 50 here. How many rupees do we have in total? Okay, 228. Uh, we'll be okay, I think. We can get another set of rupees here. This one is a quick 20 rupees. Joy, joy indeed. By the way, if my voice sounds any different in this video, it's because for like the first time in maybe like a year and a half, I'm recording in the daytime. Usually I record my videos. Uh oh, this is bad. Please spit me out like, like. Thank you. Appreciate that. Usually I record my videos at night, like 9 p.m., 10 p.m., somewhere around there when my house is quiet. Uh, but right now, my family is is out, and so I figured, let's try it. I don't know, it's kind of weird. Instead of recording at like 10 p.m., I'm recording at 10 a.m. Very strange. It's actually 11.06 if you want the accurate information. All right, we can lift up rocks now, which means we can read this sign. Tall, tall heights. It's a little shortcut back to here, very good. Uh, let's go ahead and go past Dampe first, though, because we want to open up something we're not going to be using for a while, but it'll be useful to open while we're here. Dampe is gone, by the way. He is now actually working in his uh, his little house. Oh, there's some strange energy coming from here. You should take a closer look. This is a warp zone. It doesn't do anything right now, but it will eventually do something. Okay, let's go ahead and return Bow Wow now or start working our way towards returning Bow Wow. Bow Wow is not a full-time party member, obviously. We need to uh, to return it to his proper owner, Madam Meow Meow. So we are going to be doing that very soon. He was helpful for the time we had him though. Sometimes eating the plants that we needed to eat. By the way, these rocks are very heavy, but we can lift them. I don't think we need to go in this cave for now though, right? Right, okay. No use for now. Lift it and throw. Perfect. We do need to go into other caves, though, like this cave here, by any chance. Anyone interested in going into this cave? Of course. This is actually an evil cave. You'll notice there's a torch thing we can light. Uh-oh. That's no good. Hey, kid. You woke me up for a fine nap. Thanks a lot. But now I'll get my revenge. Are you ready? I'll let you carry more magic powder. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. No! He's cursing me! Ha ha ha! You deserve it. Now look at all that junk you have to carry. Take care. See you again. That was Lil Devil, and he doubled the amount of magic powder we can carry. What a curse. He seems to think that it was a, a negative thing that he did for us, but it actually was quite, quite a positive, let's be honest. Alright, we're going to work our way through the Mysterious Forest a bit further because, um, actually, were we going the right way? No, we need to go over to the left. Okay. There was a puzzle for a piece of heart that we needed to do. We actually saw it, I think, in episode one. So, now we can- get off me! There we go. Go! We're fine. Um, there was a puzzle we could not do that we saw in episode one that we now actually can do. So, we're gonna do it. It is not in this room, it is in the next two rooms, I believe. Not this room, not the next one, but the one afterwards. It's a simple rock pushing puzzle, but there were some skulls in the way that prevented us from uh, fully completing it. Um, am I approaching this from the wrong way? I think I am. Let me approach from the bottom? Question mark? I think approaching it from the bottom is a better idea. Yeah. Yeah, this will work. Okay. So we need to go over, up. And then we need to lift this skull and give it a toss. Lift this skull, give it a toss, and we can get ourselves a piece of heart. There we go. Is this piece of heart seven? Seven? I think so. Yeah, seven. We need one more to get another heart container. So that's good. Okay. 
we have one final task before we can return Bow Wow to his rightful owner. Let's go ahead and take this mushroom as well, just for the sake of having an extra toadstool. There we go. We can take that and get more magic powder, I believe. But we will not be doing so right now. I pressed the jump button, I swear. Okay. So, over here, somewhere in the mysterious forest... What? He's rough, rough. Somewhere in the mysterious forest, there's a secret seashell we can get. But I don't quite know where, in all honesty. We can always come back for it. It doesn't require Bow Wow, it just requires the power bracelet. But I'm legitimately not sure. It's gonna be behind some rocks somewhere. Um... Let's... Let's... Let's keep looking for it. Let's not give up. Never give up. Never back down. Never what, you know? Never surrender. So let's look for it. Let's find it. And see if we can't figure it out. It should just be around here somewhere. Behind some... Behind some rocks. Surely it's not behind here. It's in the mysterious forest. If I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, I can't do anything here. Why did I come back in here? Can't remember. But it should be around here somewhere. I mean, the mysterious forest isn't that large. I should be able to find what I'm looking for fairly easily. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll just look around for a bit and let you guys know if I actually end up finding it. Because if I don't, that'd be wicked embarrassing. Hey, it got more map. This is where we need to go, by the way. Right there. So, that's that's where we need to go. But we got more map. I figured you want to see. We got all the way to Tall Tall Heights somehow. But yeah, we, I mean, we were kind of close, I guess. I don't know. I think I might have just dropped the ball a little bit on knowing the exact location. But we'll find it. I recognize that the map is useful. And we should use it more. We're getting a lot of rupees, too, which is good. We're going to be spending uh, a lot of rupees today. Let's open up this chest and get ourselves a secret seashell. What do you do with it? I don't know, but we have more now. We always want more. Because we are people in the modern world. We always want more. That's why we should all join the Liver King. Just kidding. Don't do that. Alright, let's return Bow Wow. I'm sure Madam Meow Meow is absolutely devastated that we've taken so long to return her beloved doggy dog to her. Madam Meow Meow. Ho ho ho, I really appreciate what you did for my poor precious Bow Wow. You are such a nice boy. How can I ever repay you? I know. She gave us a kissy. Smooch! You got a reward from Madam Meow Meow. Dot dot dot. L -l lucky Well, let's just get out of here. Bow Wow. Happy to have you back home, little guy. Alright, let's go ahead and spend all our money now, shall we? We're going to head to the shop, which is up here. And we are going to be spending lots and lots of cash. Okay. Now, it is worth mentioning something that a lot of people mention. And that is that you can uh, steal these items. You have to pay like this to the shopkeeper. But if you sneak around when he's not looking, you can just leave. I'm not going to do that, though. Deluxe shovel, 200 rupees. Seems expensive. We need it. Thanks a lot and come again. Okay, we got the shovel for 200 rupees, and we're also going to buy some bombs for 10 rupees. 10 bombs, 10 rupees. Thanks a lot, come again. Okay, so bombs are not very eventful of an item in this game. They just give them to you. You want bombs? Just buy them. Okay, so now we have two new items, shovel and bombs, and we're going to use the shovel and bombs for some more goodies. That's all today's video is going to be, by the way, is goodie getting. If we dig in this corner, for example, we can get a secret seashell. But what do you do with it? Beats me, man. We're also going to head finally back to Tail Cave and get behind the cracked wall that I was pointing out. I was severely hinting, but not uh, fully telling you that it is a bombable wall. Very common in Zelda games to have walls that you can break uh, with some bombs, some well-timed, well-placed explosives. And that is what we're going to be doing when we get to Tail Cave, we have 10 bombs now. Soon to have 9 bombs, if all goes well, and we don't miss. If we miss, then we'll have less than 9. But let's go in and bomb the wall. We know the way there, of course. Tail Cave, very simplistic dungeon, very hard to get lost. Uh, we might need to re-equip our uh, Rock's Feather. What would be the most efficient way to get to where I need to get to? Just going there, probably. <laughs> let's just go there. We don't need any sort of 
uh, frills. We just need to get where we need to get to. And that is over here. Go away, Keese. And we'll jump over here, plant ourselves a bomb, and let it go. Dude, I was holding my shield. What a shame. That'll allow us to get this chest, and this chest contains a secret seashell. Say it with me now. But what do you do with it? Who knows? Who knows? All right, we now are going to be making a little bit of progress towards the prairie, but we're not going to be doing anything to advance the story per se. We're just going to be working our way over there. I picked up a piece of power for no reason. I'm not fighting enemies like anytime soon, like at all, but that's fine, I guess. All right, let's keep going. Oh, you know what? Actually, I think we should show me the map. Uh, yeah, we'll be fine. Okay. I was going to say, maybe we should do something else first, but now nah, we'll, we'll be okay. We'll, we'll loop back where we need to go. Efficient movement is very important. I kind of wish I didn't pick up this piece of power because I'd rather hear the music of like Mabe than this like three notes of like, Doo -doo 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 you know? Yeah, you know. Okay, it wore off. Thank, thank heavens. Alrighty. So yes, through here now we can finally break open these and get ourselves to the Uku, Ukuku, Ukuku Prairie. That's it. Okay, we have another bit of a rock pushing puzzle, as well as a rock, uh, rocking puzzle, because we need to push the rocks and lift the skulls, like you do. For example, lifting that skull. Oh, dude, I threw that at that green, green goo guy. Push that over there. Open up this chest, get ourselves some more rupees, that's good. As you might have seen in the shop, there is another piece of heart that we of course are interested in, uh, but it is 200 rupees, so we're going to need to stock up again. We can get this piece of heart here though, this is piece of heart number 8, which gets us our 7th heart container. We grow stronger and stronger every time we game, and that is crucial. Two things left to do y'all, two things left. Wow, Dampe is just everywhere today, isn't he? If we head up north here, we can enter the Koholent Prairie. This connects us back up. That's a zombie. That connects us back up here to the Witch's Hut. There's a few things we can do near the Witch's Hut. For one, we can open up this little section of a, of a little graveyard. And we can... Uh, well, I need to dig a hole. Dig a hole right here to get ourselves a secret seashell. But what do you do with it? And we can... Uh, Jeez, these zombies, man, they're kind of terrifying. They only got one eyeball. That's actually crazy. If this was a game where you could uh, get EXP and level up, this would be a good place to grind because they just keep spawning. Okay, let's get out of here, though, because this is not a game where you can get EXP and level up. So we should move on. We're going to head up north beyond the witch's hut to this house over here. This is the house of a woman named Crazy Tracy. I guess she's crazy. Hi there, big guy. I'm Crazy Tracy. I've got a little secret for sale that'll pump you up. How about it? 40 rupees for my little secret. I know what you're thinking. Yes, we're gonna buy it. All right, come here and I'll rub it on you. There, I've applied my own secret medicine. It will take effect when you lose all hearts. Drop by again, big guy. Here's some bonus treatment. Behold, your hearts are full. Okay, our hearts look different as you can see. Uh, this secret medicine that Crazy Tracy gave us is something we probably should have picked up before entering Bottle Grotto, uh, because what it does is it acts like uh, like a fairy from the Ocarina of Time, for example. When you lose all your life in battle, you will be restored, and you will be able to continue fighting without getting a game over. As you may or may not know, last episode, we got our first game over, which was not good, uh, but hopefully that will not happen again. The secret medicine, I believe, is a one-time use, so if you use it, and then you'll need to reuse it by, uh, you know, activating it again. Some strange energy is pouring from here. You should find out what it does. To end off this video, I will show you the warp screen. There are a few locations throughout the world with these symbols. You may use them, if you activate them, to warp to different locations. Here we are at Dampe's house. Here we are in Ukuku Prairie slash Mabe Village. It's really close. But there you go. You can warp. 
We'll obviously use this more as we expand out the map and get more warp points. There's not really a super useful uh, example of when you'd want to warp two screens to the north, but uh, we can, so we shall. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be all for now. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe and tell your friends about my channel if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me when you guys spread my videos around. And I'll catch you guys all back here next time for my next video. Until then, as always, take care.